You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Some new me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Nico Jishi. So let's go ahead and just uh, jump right back into it, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes of entertaining you. Let's jump right in. Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Alrighty, hope you're all having a wonderful evening, a uh, wonderful day, wonderful night. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead. <clears throat> so, I couldn't help but talk with you when you when I saw you sitting here. My name is Lin Tian Liao. Nice to meet you. I'm Yan, I'm Yan Xu Shi. Uh, uh, nice to meet you two. And these two gentlemen here are... I am a guardian tiger of Mazu. You may consider me as a guardian of Liao. Lick a Liao. I see. As you know, I'm a Yaogwai. I don't believe my human name is important. My pseudonym is Randolph. I'm an artist. An artist? Right. I came here today to visit a professor of history at this college. So you're a Yaogwai artist who has come to visit a professor at my college? Okay. Yes. Does it seem strange? It does. Uh, I didn't mean that. It was rude of me to come up and disturb you like this. I I'm so sorry. I saw that what I said had made him visibly nervous, so I tried to apologize as best I could. I've just kind of think about how this would be for him. Just we just show up all of a sudden, surround him, and then ask whether he's a whether he's a Yao Guai. Pretty forward of us. It's okay. Please, I don't mind. I, I like talking with people. So why did you choose to become an artist? It seems like that's special for a Yao Guai. I never thought about meeting a medium with guardian tigers in a college either. And the gentleman behind me, I'm not sure who he is, but I can feel that he's a very powerful spirit. It might be time for introductions, no? Ah, oh, of course. Uh, my family is a Jetong family, and we've served we've served Guardian Tigers for generations. The man behind me is the Guardian Tiger who has come with me to Taipei all the way from my hometown. Or should I say he came along with the statue I brought to Taipei. The other guy behind you is uh, the one who opened my eyes to all this. He's a spirit from the Rukai tribe who wanted to help, wanted my help, so he gave me this ability. Since then, I've been able to see all these gods, and I guess you all go like yourself. Finally, this is my senpai. He's a leopard cat guardian tiger who also wants to help to rejuvenate his temple of Miali. A leopard cat guardian tiger? You would have had the, to be a Yaogwai once, yes? Yeah, I wasn't lucky enough to escape from my from my Fujigong. Fudigong. Terrible, huh? It doesn't seem to have been such a bad thing if you became an orthodox god out of it. However, you just mentioned something about, about rejuvenating the temple. So I guess your god of soil is losing his power? That may explain why you still smell of Yaogwai like a Yaogwai. I can't feel much spiritual power from you at all. I'm worried about it, but Liao isn't helping me. Help? Isn't he just a college student? I briefly explained to Randolph why all three of them want my help specifically. <laughs> so that's it. I'm not saying that I don't want to help them, but I can't drop school just for that. And to be honest, I'm not interested in becoming a priest. I'm a member of the dance club here, and I want to pursue peru I want to uh, peruse a career. I want to pursue a career where I can use my talent. But these three kind of put a spanner in the works. It's hard enough as it is to make a living by dancing, and I have to keep up on school at the moment. It's not possible for me to just get up and have a two-year break. Honestly, it's been really stressing me out. I can see you're so I can see why you're so troubled. However, do you really know the details about the requests? Details? I mean, sure, I asked about them, but how much could there could there be to it? Priest, oracles, Yatong, whatever, they're all people who represent the wills of the gods in society. So I can communicate with spirits. Sure, that's awesome, but being the go-to guy for, hey, I want to talk to the gods isn't awesome after a while. Even if I get to have access to all these cute guys living with me, I don't want to spend, I don't want to, I don't want a life steeped in the history of my ancestors. So, have you considered any alternative ways? Alternative ways? You're still at school, so you don't have time. However, it doesn't mean that you can't help them at all. Hmm, maybe, but how? I believe you'll find a way. I doubt they would want to bother you after you solve their problems. Well said. Hurry up and drive them away so you can come back to back home, Liao. It's not that easy. You can't just give up and leave me halfway. <clears throat> Liao goes to Wutai. See, it just ends up like this. I may have been too optimistic. It seems this is not something I can judge. I do apologize for my irresponsible words. No, no, please don't. Talking to you is helping me think, and I appreciate it. It may be hard, but there's got to be some way out. Even if there isn't, I have to try anyway. I need to try to work this out. Thanks. I'm surprised to talk to such a polite Yao Guai like you. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... 
It's alright. I do treat myself as a special case. So, are there other Yagwai like you living amongst humans? Actually, there are many of them. Some of them good, some of them bad. After all, isn't the same thing true of humans? But frankly speaking, sometimes I find other Yagwai are annoying. Are Yagwai aggressive to each other? Well, Yagwai are from the same species are usually fine. But typically, we don't like Yagwai from other species. Most of us have a strong sense of territory. But it's pretty common for Yagwai to mingle within cities. Smarty Yagwai are the ones who have learned to keep their business to themselves. But the ones with ambition are the ones who cause trouble. They're, most like, they're mostly taken care of by the gods and other more powerful Yagwai. They're taken care of? So does that mean most Yagwai in the city are good? It depends on your perspective. To me, they just don't want any trouble. Things don't always go that easy, of course. Sometimes new ones are born. Other times they might just come here to cause trouble. It's all maintained on a shifting balance. But if something big happens, it usually, it's usually because of the temples. I guess that's why some people still hold on to these traditional beliefs. People go to temples now for blessings, a fortune, better luck, or to just pass their next exam. I wonder if it's because of Yagwai who seek these things in life, or maybe it's because... Or maybe it's just because, uh, because of them that we have these problems in the first place. Besides, I have a lot of questions I want to ask Randolph, but I don't know where to start. So, why did you choose to become an artist? You seem pretty unique for a Yagwai. It's just a coincidence. I was uh, helping a friend. At the time, he needed an, art an artist. I filled the bill. It has been too long since then, and the mask of the artist has become my own face. Was this friend of yours a Yagwai as well? Yes. So you joined human society to help that friend. What happened to your old life? I was living amongst humans back then, too. The energy I need is special, and I can get more by getting close to humans. You could say there were mutual benefits between us. Mutual benefits? What kind of benefits? But living in a human community, it's easier for me to get emotions to get emotions directly. After all, I live by consuming the emotions of people. Ah, oh, please don't worry. I'm too full now to consider eating yours. Emotions? I mean, sure, you can get a lot in the city, but isn't that more dangerous for you? I'm worried... I worried about it at the very beginning. However, other Yagwai won't bother you if you just live like a human. Heh. <laughs> of course, living like a human isn't easy. I see. So, mind if I ask how you actually eat emotions? Fan mail. Uh, what? Uh, sorry, what? Fan mail. Strong emotions are attached to the letters from my readers. After all, for someone to write to you, they must, cons they must either adore you or despise you very much. You know some people intimidate others by mailing knives? Seriously? <laughs> Actually, I've never seen one. But I do receive a lot of messages. It's smart for me to live in the human community. Bad mail. Unbelievable. So I guess your life is pretty good? Like I said, it's not easy. No one sends mail to an unknown artist, and you're forgotten quickly if you don't put out work cons consistently. I also have to take care of this possessed body, which means I still need food and a place to live. Honestly, living is pretty hard when you have to maintain your human life and your guai life simultaneously. So you still need to work for money. A lot. You don't sound like a Yogwai at all. Most Yogwai don't manage to take make it in the city. This troubled world usually gets the better of them. Especially with how expensive it is to leave and live here. Life is hard. It's hard to imagine that even a Yogwai have to have, have to work hard for a salary. Well, I'm not good at making money any other way. Some Yogwai are used their powers in this regard. Those who don't follow the rules are to be taken out by others, or gods for that matter. So I make a living by drawing, even if it isn't the best job. Artists aren't paid much? My work is serialized, so it's not that bad. However, my salary depends on the popularity of the magazine, which isn't the best. I do freelancing as well, but that's very unstable. It's hard to find a, to make a fixed wage. Not all my clients are that great, either. They don't really care how much they work, or they work me. Regardless, I can't just give up on my clients. I have my reputation to maintain. Not to mention that I never know when I'll get when I'll get work to begin with. I never thought that Yagwai would have so much to complain about. <laughs> Indeed, uh, being an artist isn't easy, but what job is easy? If I can make it work, I can just go back to my Yagwai life. If I can... Not everyone has that escape, but I decided to take on the will of the person I possessed. I'm not just about to give up on that. Their will? Does that mean his will has, was to become an artist? Yes, mostly. It's not a big secret. Well, oh, really, it started a long time ago when... Nope, okay. I listen to Randolph's stories. Mostly it's about his life as an artist. His struggles, his successes, and failures. But nestled in there are tales of tales and rumors from the Yagwai world. You never think about it, but a Yagwai artist's view on life is really captivating. What well, feels like moments the time has, fl has flown by. Randolph is startled when a stray glance... When a stray glance leads him to the time displayed on a nearby television. 
Oh, I'm so sorry. It's time for my appointment. I must leave you now. Oh, all right. I'm sorry to have taken too much of your time, but thank you for speaking to me. It's okay. It was a rare opportunity to be able to converse with someone who can see and understand us, Yagwai. So hopefully we can meet again. Agreed. Goodbye for now. See ya. See ya. As we watch Randolph leave, Senpai is already back on his phone. Hey, Liao. We just skipped a lecture, you know. What? Shocked, I take a quick look at the time. We were talking for ages. Not only has our lunch break ended, but our lecture is almost over as well. Eh, that's fine. Uh, that class doesn't mark doesn't mark the role anyways. Hey, that's not the point. You may not care about lectures, but don't lump me in with you. But he's right. It doesn't really matter. What else can I do? We decided to wait, wait it out until our next class as I sit there in the cafeteria with Randolph's stories and advice still in my mind. <laughs> Silly cuties. Since speaking with Randolph, I've been thinking over what he said about trying to find some other solution with the cats. I'm worried that if I just went and asked them about it, they'll just think I actually intend to help them then and there. It'd be mean to get their hopes up. But if I just keep ignoring it, wouldn't they end up pressuring me about it anyway? I guess I've got no choice but to talk. Talk to each of them and try to understand everything. I just have to think of how to time it. Aww, cutie. They're all cutie. It'd be easy to talk to Tiger privately, at least. Since we're in the bookstore, Senpai's in class and Leopard can't read anyway, so, he's, he, so he'll be off gallivanting somewhere. Yes, he can. He can read. I mean, he, he like... He knows what letters are. Tiger loves this place so much he'd probably live here if he could. Leo, not reading anything today? His voice sounds absent as he focuses on skimming the textbooks before him without looking up. It's as if he doesn't really care about how I would answer. Um, well, I, I just have something in mind. Something on my mind. A vague answer leaves me as I stumble my thoughts. Not that he seems too interested in listening. This one. Intriguing. That one. Mo, oh, this must be new. But it doesn't look very decent. I've definitely never seen anyone this deeply invested in the quality of textbooks either. Textbooks before. You make a good school teacher at the very least. But back to the point. Um, Tiger, you know. Hmm? Oh, right. Don't worry. I don't intend to buy any of them. They are far too expensive. Well, it's true they contain a lot of information. They simply use too many glossy photograph pages. It just serves to drain to drive up printing costs. Quite unnecessary. Even if they were $2, there's no way I could buy enough to keep you satisfied. <laughs> Very true. I also think there must be a better way to acquire all this information. Other than reading books? Uh, hmm. What about the internet? The internet? Would that contain information as detailed as these books? Well, you probably won't find everything as neatly organized, but at least using the internet is free. As far as your wallet is concerned, it's significantly better to not spend money. Talking about the internet, some of these books do discuss something called forums. Tiger seems to be lost in thought, pondering to himself. Wait, I still have, I still have to talk to him. Hey, Tiger? Hmm? What is it? He's so engrossed in his book, he doesn't even look up. Come on, give me some attention already. It's just that I wanted to ask, if I don't go home, is there any other way I can help you? Oh, what do you mean by that? Finally, I've got his attention. Help me? What would I need you to help with? Are you trying to discuss becoming the Jitong of our temple? Yes. Is there any way that I don't have to, have to go home and become a Jitong? Your power to channel spirits is quite uncommon. Something rare and special of your own. It would be a terrible shame not to use it. I'm certain that both your family and the Holy Mother herself would be delighted to see you choose that path. But I'm aware of your wishes to stay in Taipei. You need to make such decisions now. There are plenty of semesters left until your graduation, after all. I know, but what if I really do stay in Taipei and never go back home? That would be a shame. And that means that the only way you'll be happy is if I go home? I know you don't want to go back, Liao. If it does come to that, I'll support you. But truly, it would seem like a waste. A waste of something that makes you special. I can, for I can foresee how your parents would react if they knew. The other Guardian Tiger surely would wish the same for you, Liao. If you did choose to stay in Taipei, I suppose you could always open a small temple. But if that's not what you wish, then there's nothing... Like me or anyone else could do about it. So that's how it is. It's as I said earlier, there's no need to rush. You have plenty of time to think this over. Just don't go promise just don't go promising your life away to some kitten and there won't be a problem. Yeah, I I'll think about it. That's good. For a while an uneasy silence dwelled over us, so I decided to try and change the subject. What kind of things would you like to look up? On the internet, that is. Do you wanna have a look together when we get back? Really? I think that brought up his mood a bit. 
Okay, so, see these books here? I wish you'd look up this topic, and this one. Most likely that one, too. Lay out. Should you not be using your phone to write these down? Oh, he's caught on to people using phones to keep notes now. These books look pretty technical. How the heck does he even make sense of it all? In short, I end up spending the rest of the night looking up stuff for him on the internet. I wanted to play games tonight, too. Oh, Tiger, you're such a cutie. I spend the next few days trying to get some alone time with Leopard to speak with him, which is easier said than done. I can't exactly talk to him during class, and afterwards Tiger always joins us. But dance practice is going to be my best chance. Leopard always comes to dance practice, Tiger's always off to the side brooding, and Senpai is usually busy with the other senior students. Today, I make sure to go to a corner away from Senpai and Tiger to practice. Leopard followed me, so this should be as good a time as any. As much as it's never boring to watch Leopard dance. Hey, Leopard, I've been meaning to ask you. I get out of my words between breaks in the routine I was working on. A while ago, you told me that you wanted you wanted me you wanted for me to go to Wu Tai to be an oracle. But what would you do if I didn't do that? Wait. Wait until when? Wait until Liao does go. And if I never do? Hmm. You say that your tribe needs an oracle, but if I don't go to Wu Tai, is there any other way to help you? Help? Not to be an oracle. Like, finding someone who I, I don't need to be there physically. Like, finding someone I don't need to be there physically. The internet's pretty handy these days. People could just send questions and I could answer back from home. Not be an oracle. I don't know. But need Liao. See me. Speak. Others. I guess that's how an oracle works and all, but I don't know what kind of problems you need me to solve. Do I need to do something, or can I just let people know what's going on? I just don't really want to leave Taipei. Many problems. Urgent. All need solving. But, what can I do for you from here? There has to be something. I don't know. Oracle. Busy. Must speak with many people. What about using the internet or speaking over the phone? Oh god. Not sure. I think... No. Hmm. Sure, there's a bunch of things that you absolutely need to discuss in person, but not everything's like that. And Leopard... And Leopard, he's determined to get something across to his tribe. But what's also important here is that they actually trust me as an oracle. Being Han Chinese makes being trusted by an ab by his aboriginal tribe hard enough as it is. Being a voice on the phone wouldn't help one bit. Liao! Liao! You tired? Wanna rest? Let's take a break! Huh? Oh, I I'm fine. What's he on about? I'm already taking a break. You mind if I scooch in here? You and Kulai seem to be having heaps of fun all by yourselves. No, not at all. In fact, it's a pretty serious discussion. About going to Wu Tai? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, leave a super thanks, or a tip if you can, it always helps. I am kind of also thinking about maybe having five videos a day It's uh, every now and then. If I can fit it in, I will. I love entertaining you guys. Anyway. Alright, I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!